No Rules Art is a tie-dyeing business. We started off as just a art class. My brother, who has Down syndrome, was graduating, and uh, there wasn't much out there for adults with disabilities. And my sister was getting ready to graduate high school, and she wanted to go into art and art therapy. And so her and my mom started an art class, and one of the projects they did was tie-dyeing socks. They were handing out the socks. Somebody said, hey, where'd you get those? I'd like to buy them, and class is still in session. Just in here. Yep, you're gonna line it up so that we can cover it nice. Yep, perfect. We say if it comes in cotton, we can dye it. We have done curtains, we've done table runners, we've done doctor's coats, anything and everything, we, we can dye it. And Lisa's working on some scrunchies in her Kevlin, which is pinks and purples. Oh. It's a pretty smooth, operation everyone knows what they're doing and it's we kind of built it that way as opposed to having a business where you're trying to plug people in uh, this has grown organically so everybody's kind of found where their abilities lie and where they like to be and they they migrate to it and no one's been given a title they've kind of taken it themselves ice dyeing is a technique where instead of pre-dissolving the dye, you lay out your, you can still fold it, you can do any patterning that you want, and then you cover it with ice, and then instead of pre-dissolving the dye, you actually just sprinkle the dye on top, and so as the ice melts, it actually dissolves the dye and brings it into the sock, and so you get kind of separations of the colors. They love being in front of people and selling and saying, this is mine, I made this, they're not restricted by our views of the world. They have their own views and they bring it to their tie-dye. They get a lot of self-worth out of it. They get a lot of expression and they're, they're, they're safe here. And one more time, twist, and then bring it, yep, and then bring it back over top. The struggles that they overcome, nothing in my life was that hard. And so a lot of humility and respect. That's what I get out of it and enjoying life for what it is.